Hi girls! So welcome back to the channel. So today, um, I just have a different video of the Bobbi Brown Rich Chocolate Palette and yeah, a little review of that and then just how to transition your look using the Bobbi Brown Palette from daytime to night. So if you would like to see this, keep on watching! So ladies, let's just start off um, with a little bit of the basics about the, pa about the palette and the product. Um, so I purchased mine at Bloomingdale's. It was $52.00 plus tax, which, you know, was a little bit on the expensive side, but it was a really nice palette and I had heard many rave reviews about it, so I decided that, I, you know, I needed this in my collection. Um, so, um, some of the basics about it is that it has seven colors, which you can see here. There's seven colors on the palette. And let me zoom in so you guys can take a better look at it. Here are the seven colors of the palette and I'll do some quick swatches for you so you could see the pigmentation. This is the lightest color over here. The next color, right next to it, right there. There's the third color, which is a little bit light. Let's move on to the next color. Just keep on going. As you can see, some of the colors are a lot more pigmented than others. There's that one, and here is the darkest color, which is very richly pigmented. And as you can tell, there are five matte colors that are these three at here, and those two over here. And then here in the middle, we have this color, which is a sparkly color, and then this one is more of a satiny color, which is really nice. Um, I didn't have I didn't have many, I didn't have many colors that are matte like that in a palette because usually there's a lot more glitters and stuff like that or shimmers or, you know, satiny colors. But I was happy to note that this one had a lot of matte colors, which I was really excited about. So that's why I thought I needed to have that in my collection. So let me go through some pros of the product with you. So I really like that it included a double-ended brush, which is very soft on one side and the other side is like of a synthetic blend, which will help you to apply the colors was really cool so I included the brush which was nice um, also I love the size of the mirror so if you don't have like if you're gonna travel with it then it's really awesome because the mirror is huge and it's you know like we all need a mirror so honestly and then also I thought it was very travel friendly because the size is not weight it's not too big it's not too small fits nicely in your purse and yeah so I love that the fact that you were able to do that you know, like just be able to like, what I love is that the colors are so neutral that you can just wear it from day to night and it's perfect. Um, which was the next um, thing I want to talk to that, you know, like it has, so what I like about it was the versatility and the everyday use that it has. So the colors, since they're neutral, you can just wear it every day, different types of colors, the light colors, just to complement your everyday look and to look not too made up, but just look beautiful and natural looking. And then also transitions beautifully into the nighttime. So if you have an event after work, you have it in your purse, you just take it out and just kind of, you know, amp the volume just a little bit on your mascara, a little bit on the, you know, on the corners, just add a little bit more drama to your eyes. And as you can see right now, that's what I have on my eyes. I have on the night look. So yeah. Also, another thing that I really like about it is that it is for any skin type. So it, it, whether you're fair-skinned or olive-skinned or if you're like, you know, my little Dominican caramel color skin, um, then, and even if you're a dark skin, this is going to be a palette that you can use. It's very versatile because of that. And I really like that. So, also it makes your eye, brown eyes pop. So if you have brown eyes like me, if you're, you know, like this is just going to really make those beautiful browns, chocolate brown eyes that you have and was, we're blessed with to really shine and make you look really beautiful. So I really like that fact about the product. Another one is that um, it is comparable to the Naked Basics palette. So I'm just gonna clo give a close up real quick about that. Because if you have the Naked Basics palette, then I don't think it's necessary for you to purchase this um, chocolate palette from Bobbi Brown unless you really, really love you know, all the colors. So I'm just gonna show you. As you can see, those colors are pretty similar. Not the same, obviously, because the um, Bobbi Brown has seven colors and the Naked Basics only has six. But you know that you can mix and match these colors in the Naked Basics to create any of those from the Bobbi Brown one. So it's up to you if you really want to invest in it. 
I so obviously if you have the Naked Basics, you do not have to invest in the Bobbi Brown one. But I, you know, I really love it and I'm a shopaholic so of course, you know, I had to have it in my life. But you know how that is. <laughs> it's not so healthy. But so I'm going to go into one of the, the cons of the product, which I felt were, you know, that it was a bit expensive. So like, you know, the Naked Basics runs for like around $27 and this one was $50. Two, I said plus the tax so it's pretty expensive only almost $60 for the makeup um, where you know like if you wanted to, to go with the naked basics then you could and it was almost the same so yeah that was a con for me the price and then also I felt like you couldn't wear this product without primer for me um, I usually have that problem I need to use primer to help any of my um, eye products adhere because um, my eyes, I guess, you know, I guess because of the dark circles or because maybe they're oily lids, I don't know. They're not really that oily, but you know, I just feel like it's hard for my eyeshadow to stay on. So, yeah, that's what happened with my um, palettes, but you know, I guess it's not that much of a con because I do that, do usually um, use a primer with all of my eyeshadows. So, I guess that doesn't really matter. It could have been a little bit more pigmented in some of the colors. It could have been a little bit cheaper. And yeah, but I overall I really liked it. I'm going to leave you with um, a quick way to transition from day to night using the Bobbi Brown palette. So stay tuned and keep on watching. Start off by prepping your eyes using a um, eyeshadow base. I'm using this one by MAC. Don't forget to add some to your lower lashes to keep your eyeliner intact all day. Next, you're going to choose um, this the third color in your palette and you're going to apply it all over your lid. We would like to achieve a very, very sweet and natural look. So we're going to sweep this color along the hollows of the eyes. And you see, it just gives a touch of depth. And now we're going to add this darkest color and keep it towards the outer V of the eye. Pick up some of the lightest color on the palette and apply some to the arch of your eyebrow and also the inner corner of your eye to give a little bit of light to these areas. To create a white awake doll eyed look, add some of the darkest shadow along the outer corners of your eyes and then line your waterline using a flesh toned pencil. Add some more light to the inner corner of your eyes using a jumbo pencil from Pixie and also line the inner corners of your eyes. Now using a brown pencil, you're going to line along the outer corners of your eyes. Now line your eyes using a liquid liner to give more drama to your upper lashes. Finish off your eyes using some mascara to make your lashes look super long and beautiful. Apply a neutral color to your cheeks to complement your look. Add some light to your face by adding some of this highlight all over your cheeks and your forehead, the middle of your nose, and on your chin. And now prep your lips for lipstick. I'm using Max Prep and Plum and then line and fill in your lips using a pencil. When you're done with that, add some lipstick that's very neutral to complete your lips. And as usual, I love to add a little bit of gloss to plump it up and make it look a little bit cooler. And that is how your daytime look turns out. It is sweet, simple, and easy, and you can use it just to hang out, to go to work, or just because. Now I'm going to show you how I use the same palette to create a night look. So we're going to start off using the sparkly color and we're going to apply it all over the lid. Now really intensify the color that we had on earlier by adding some of the chocolate color towards the outer corners of the eye and just really smoking it out. Now put some more highlight under the brow bone and the inner corner. And now I'm going to be using this NYX glitter. Um, just to add a little bit more of sparkle and shine to make it more of a night look. Using the gold 
eyeliner, you're gonna line your waterline to make it pop. And then use a black liner to line your outer corners with this, just along the lash line. Using a liquid liner, line your top lashes and extend it and wing it out just a little bit to create a sexy cat eye. Curl your lashes using an eyelash curler and then add your favorite mascara. I'm loving this one that really plumps up the volume and makes your lashes look longer than ever. And now just give your face a bit of more of a highlight. Um, I'm using this one by NARS which really gives you a lot of sparkle. And then just amp up the volume on your blush. The same one that we used before. And now just like before we're gonna just prep our lips and then we're gonna line them and fill them in using a, a darker, more sexy color for the night. And now, just fill in your lips using a matte bold color that will complement your smoky look. And you're ready to go out and enjoy a night on the town. So ladies, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. It was so fun and quick and easy for me to make. And I just love working with makeup and doing different eye makeup and stuff like that. So it was a joy. So if you have any other questions, please post them down below and let me know so I can answer you and assist you in if you're shopping or thinking of shopping for this palette. Ladies, don't forget to support me by subscribing to this channel. So click down below and my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, my blog as well. Mwah. Kiss and hug. Bye. See you next time.